hiding behind this. I see. So this is the witness protection program. Right? <laughs> 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 Hello, Hello. 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 Hi everybody, I'm Randy and I'm Diane and we're Zephyrus Travels and this week we're in Springville, New York at an Airstream rally and this is the New York Finger Lakes Airstream Club behind us. Some of us. Oh. Some of us. <laughs> and we've all had a great time here at Boyd and Dawn's place for this rally. We appreciate them opening up their yard for us and our Airstreams and this has been great. We've had a lot of fun activities. We've been hiking. We've visited a cricket farm. Yep. Um, we've, I should be talking this way because the camera's that way. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we've been hiking. We've visited a cricket farm. We've had a pizza party. Guys, what have we done? Everything. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> we got wet. Well, we, we, we were educated on what the difference is between a bog and a, and a fen. Yes. That was one thing. Yeah. So we, the Western New York Nature Sanctuary Society was able to host us in a couple walks in, in the Springville area. I fell right off this cord <laughs> It was hilarious. <laughs> I bet. No, my, I had my hiking boots on. They caught the edge of this, and I went right over. Oh. It was so funny. I could have stayed there all day because I fell into a really thick fern area with moss. It was probably right here. Amazing. We have 24 acres here. In, in this sanctuary. Uh, anybody know how a bog would have been formed? This is an ice age formation. No inlet or outlet. It's just uh, uh, ice, you know, yeah. The, the glacial, you know, what, you know, the glacier just, you know, basically create a pocket. Yes. And there's no inlet or outlet. Exactly. So it's, it's basically water. a bowl. This group of plants I don't remember the name, but what they're known for is killing the bugs. And you find them throughout the bog. And I guess this is an unusual color, something they haven't seen, the white orchid. This morning we're on a group hike and we're in a bog. You ever been in a bog before? No. In fact, I don't even know if I ever heard the expression or what it is. Yeah. So do you want to explain what it is? Well, it's, it's, it's an area that um, has no natural drainage. Uh, so the water is trapped in here and, and it allows a plant life of like peat moss to grow and other plants to grow in this bog. And so it's kind of like a self-sustaining ecosystem. <laughs> and this bog was formed thousands and thousands of years ago during the ice age? Yeah, essentially a piece of the glacier fell off, a big hunk of ice, and it formed this bog, and it could be 30 feet deep. They haven't, you know, done a core sample to see how deep this particular bog is, but it could be very, very deep. So we're with a group of people that are a part of the uh, Nature Society, and they own this bog, and it is privately managed so you have to be a member of the society to come back here we we're coming back as guests part of our airstream rally which is kind of cool yeah uh, we're going to go here and then we're going to go to another bog i think it's a bog but anyways they're going to have more um lilies no um orchids orchids yes fields of orchids fields of orchids so we're going to go check that one out next but this was about a half mile off the road uh, through the woods to get back here so we're gonna just look around. There's various kinds of flowers and yeah. different plants. This is really interesting because it's like you're like you're walking on a big giant sponge. You can hear it go squish when you step. Yeah. It's not really wet. I mean, our shoes aren't getting wet. At least not the no, tops of them. But, but you can hear the water. Yeah, it's mossy and squishy. Yeah, exactly. So you're 
don't know if you're going the right way. <laughs> well, hopefully, if, you know, if we end up in the wrong spot, just point at stuff and tell us things. We won't know the difference. <laughs> yeah. This is something that's very typical in a preserve. So what they're doing is they're taking all the invasive species, they're picking it, and they put it underneath the carp to kill it. There's a hole called the picture plant. Yeah, big there? Yeah. Yeah. Can I burn? The purple, purple geom. Huh. It's done flowering. It's a, actually, that's a listed plant. I don't know if something's poison ivy. Uh, these are three. Mm. With a red stem? Yeah, I think so. So we love, uh, it's very easy for us to raise the money to, to buy these small properties to protect yeah. them. And uh, we, we specialize in doing that, and, uh, but we call these little gems. Yes. And they're just so important to protect. This one is another carbon sink. It's really sequestering carbon and keeping it here. Thank you again for allowing us to tag along, one. And thanks for everyone else who's you know, here who's an expert in something. Cool. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, was, thanks. You, did, you did a great job. Thanks to yeah. all of you for coming, and I just love to get people out in these. And what I got out of it the most, seeing how we live here, <laughs> Don and I, is meeting everybody and learning more and more about just who everyone is and you know their experiences through life and how long they've been camping and how long they, they've owned an Airstream for. And some are going on, what, 50 years? <laughs> 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 Not that we're so, trying to call anybody's age out or anything, but yeah. That's that's what I really enjoyed about the week. Yeah, I it's, wondered it's, what it, that's what's really nice about this club. It's, it's, it's not that we have an Airstream, it's that we're all together having Airstreams and having, having fun with Airstreams. Fun together. Exactly. exactly. That's the best thing about this club is just the camaraderie and, and the getting together and doing things. And it's, this is this is a great group and if you're got an Airstream and you're in central to western New York, you ought to be part of this club and you ought to get out to one of our rallies because we have a great time. Hey, can you tell us a little bit about your business? I didn't know this about Boy, but they have a fascinating business. business. So yeah, and you can you can check it out actually at one o'clock because it opens and we're actually gonna check it out after this. Um, but uh, we opened, we're the first registered cricket farm for human consumption in New York State, in Springville. We're on uh, 70 Franklin. We're right across from the, the uh, post office there. Uh, you're standing in our retail space of Perfect Protein with our the our, the, the the founder of Perfect Protein. Although he started out as Delayla Cricket Farms, uh, after his lovely daughter Delayla, who's over in there, uh, and we are now open for about one week so far. And uh, this is our uh, our uh, uh, cricket protein powder bakery so with uh, some of our protein uh, balls our meal our meal replacement bars granola and some of our cricket, bomb. cricket bombs in here which are a lot like Reese's peanut butter cups yeah all made with cricket powder that we uh, raise the crickets in, in back here in a full farm uh, take those crickets, euthanize them, put them into a dehydrator and create cricket powder and all that cricket powder then goes into our products here to create the, the, the perfect protein. So thank you. <laughs> so Diane, would you like? Well, as you weren't in, I like you know, the chocolate they, they bombs. The yeah. Those were good. It was very interesting. So, we went by yeah. the very educational. Yes, you figured you learned some because there's a pop yeah. order bike. I figured trail. I'd yeah. learn something yeah. on this trip, and we did. RB weight. <laughs> what was your favorite part, Gary? Um, I, mine was the pizza. I mean, it was pouring rain, <laughs> and I went through two pairs of shoes and sh a pair of shorts, but I enjoyed the time and the fellowship that we had when we were doing it. We were able to make our own pizza, put our own toppings on there. We had everything from, you know, the standard pepperoni to a, uh, a vegan type with a cashew cream, cream garlic We'll never sauce. eat cheese again. We'll never <laughs> eat cheese again. It was great. 
Uh, we had a buffalo chicken uh, oh, yeah. hot uh, pizza. It was great. And there's nothing now that I could say other than the fact that you've got to try a wood-fired pizza. Yeah. That That's going to be, I think that's going to have to become a staple of our camping here, you know. It's just pizza night. It is, uh, it's fun for the well, most got a fun. beautiful fireplace to burn uh, yes. the pizzas. Yeah. After the light came on. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I bet you never knew you could get so many people underneath that little cabana. Uh, right? no. yeah. Boy, we, we were, were, we were not then. We were not COVID compliant. No. <laughs> John, what was your favorite part? Oh, my favorite part was the uh, team. No, the the ride. The ride that you took us to. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Tell them about that. That was oh, so boy. We, yeah. So we we saw we, the where the uh, Indians were. TP, the TP <laughs> village, yeah, TP village, yeah, and uh, got to see where his hideout is when he gets away from everybody else, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which is no longer a hidden hideout apparently. <laughs> and then we even saw where the original founder was, and where the print print shop was. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. And I got to show you that book too, by the way. Okay. Before you leave. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it was, yeah, we have about six miles of uh, of hiking trails around here, so. On, on the property so we we drove a couple groups around and that's what John's talking about uh, in the RTV so I think it was great because this club is great we get to different parts of the state that we wouldn't get to uh, if this club didn't if you guys didn't have the rally that drew us here to we Springville and while we've been by here a few times we've never stopped here and we'll definitely want to come back to the Springville area because there's a lot of nice things to do here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the nice thing about the club is it gets you places where you've never been before. Exactly. And you didn't even think of going. And yeah. you go again. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone else have any? Val? <laughs> it's all my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> the wood fire pizza, the trip through the teepee wood. land and Partini Palace. Palace. <laughs> um, the bog. Although I was dressed totally incorrectly, I did survive. My favorite part was when I decided not to move when they said, well, if you start to sink, go like this. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, I'm just staying right here. But that was great fun. Everything was great fun. Thank you, everyone. It was fun. Yeah. yeah. Especially to our hosts. Yeah. 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 Thank you to our hosts. Well, thanks. Thank you I mean, to our hosts. It, it, it's only made by the people, the guests who arrived, right? Yeah. Thank you, yeah. guys. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So. All right. Cheers. So everybody out there. It, like I said, if you've got an Airstream and you're not a member of this club, no matter where you are, but hopefully in our area, out. join us. <laughs> um, you know, contact us. If you found this, you found a way to get contact us, I'm sure. We'll put something in the description below. And we want to, you know, say, hey, come on out and join us. Come on, come on out. See you soon. <laughs> awesome, guys. Thank All right, you. yeah.